I know Facebook ads can seem overwhelming and maybe a little intimidating with all of the options that they come with. In today's episode, I'm going to walk you through step by step in setting up some very important audiences that you must equip your business with no matter what type of business you have or what industry you are in. And of course, it's not as difficult as you might think to set these up. Hi, I'm Allie Rittenhouse, online business coach and digital marketing strategist. Welcome to another episode of Just The Tip, where you get just the information that you need to help move your business forward. And in today's episode, we are talking about Facebook audiences. They're really important to have these audiences set up and in your assets of your Facebook area because it will help you be faster and more efficient in your advertising and maybe help you not get so overwhelmed and not sure who you should target on your ads. I've been running successful Facebook ad campaigns for myself and for my clients for over seven years now. And it's never been easier to leverage Facebook advertising. Before we move over to the desktop and I show you how to set these audiences up, let's talk about what each of these audiences are for a moment. First up is your website. You have to have the Facebook pixel installed on your website to be able to track your audience. But it is so important to have this set up because no longer are the days of somebody coming and visiting your website and then leaving and never finding you again. Now you get to legally stalk them using Facebook advertising to get them to join your email list. Having the pixel installed on your website is also really useful for your work with page or maybe even a program that you are selling. If somebody visited that page without making a purchase, you can actually show them a Facebook ad to get them to buy from you. It's time to be brilliant and strategic in your business. And it's not as difficult as your head is telling you that it is. I'm going to show you here in a minute, so stay tuned. The next audience that you're going to create could actually be a multitude of different types of audiences. It just depends on how active you are and what you are utilizing. What I'm talking about is if you are active on Facebook and you are active on Instagram, you can save audiences for anybody that has interacted with you and your brand on either one of those social networks. More brilliance, I know. And to piggyback off of that audience and take it a step further, you can create another audience for anybody that has watched or interacted with any video or live stream that you've done. That is huge. So anybody that's interacted or watched a video, you could show to them your freebie or a content upgrade to get them on your email list. The options of how you can use these audiences once you have them set up is unlimited, but you have to set them up first in order to be able to use them. And by interaction on either one of those networks, we're talking about commenting, liking, sharing, anything that has happened where they have interacted with your brand, you can tap into that and save that audience to promote an ad to them. The third audience that you must set up is one that you've actually already been working on and building hopefully in your business. And that is downloading your email list from your email provider and uploading it to Facebook. This gives you the ability of showing your videos, your content on social media to your email list so that you can bridge the gap and bring it all together for your brand. Once you have this list uploaded, you can even create a lookalike audience that goes after more ideal customers just like those on your email list. The only downside about setting up these audiences is they usually have a minimum requirement. So if you're telling me, Ali, I I can't hit the minimum requirement yet, then this last audience is just for you. Having a list of completely new people that maybe have never even heard of your brand. But this is a list made up of your ideal customers that have particular interest that will bring them to your brand 
so that they can fall in love with you. Anytime I post a new video or I do a live stream, I make sure to set up an ad that goes to this target list to ensure that my brand is always being seen by a new audience. It doesn't always mean that I am showing them an ad where in exchange I'm going to get their name and email address. My goal is just to warm them up to my brand so that they can find out more information about who I am and how I can help them. Now that we've talked a little bit more about these audiences, let's step over to my desktop so I can show you how to set each of them up. Welcome to my desktop. I'm going to show you how you can easily set these audiences up in your Facebook ad manager. The first thing that you do want to do is navigate to the ads manager. There you are going to want to click on the hamburger menu and then you want to click on all tools to bring up the entire menu of everything located in the ads manager. From there we are going to click on audiences under asset. And then this brings us to the section where we are going to set up these custom audiences. The first thing that you need to do is you want to click on create audience. And from there, we're going to click on custom audience. This brings us to another navigation menu where we get to select what we are setting this audience up for. You have customer file, which can be from your email marketing system or from your shopping cart system. We have website traffic. If you have the pixel installed on your website, you can either track your entire website or a specific URL. More on that in a minute. If you have an in-person business that people are actually coming into your physical location, you can select offline activity or engagement, and that's another one we're gonna talk about here in a moment. The first one that I want to select is the website traffic. To be able to use this option, you must have the pixel already installed on the website or the page that you want to track the traffic coming from. You can select if you want to track all website visitors up to the past 180 days or by a specific page that was visited. As you become more familiar with setting up these audiences, you can even include more pages or exclude pages. Then once you have that set up, you can save this audience. So if you're tracking all website visitors, you can say Ally Rittenhouse, all website visitors. You want to know what that list is tracking. And then you can create audience. And it's not going to be immediate that this audience is ready or any of these audiences are ready. It's going to take a moment to populate it. It gives you the option that you can create a lookalike audience if you want, or you can begin creating an ad using that audience once it's ready. For the time being, we are just going to select done and I'm going to show you how to set up a couple different other audiences. You can see this one is populating right now. Let's go back to create audience and custom audience again. And now this time we are actually going to select engagement. Now this brings up a whole list of ways that you can set up new audiences based off of engagement. The three main ones that I talked about in this video today are video engagement, Facebook page engagement, and Instagram engagement. Now to have Instagram engagement included in your ads, you must have an Instagram business profile. But there are many benefits of having this, including now being able to schedule your Instagram post. So it's not a bad thing to upgrade your Instagram profile to a business profile. For this tutorial, we are gonna select video, and then we are going to select the type of engagement we want this audience to have done with our video. Based off of the type of audience or ad that you are creating is going to depend on how much interaction you want them to have done with you. Now, to get a true reading on somebody that's really interested in your brand and is interacting with your videos, you're going to want to select at least 25, if not 50% for those that have viewed 
those videos. Otherwise, it's probably them just clicking on and clicking off and not really engaging with your brand to create an audience. For this tutorial, we're going to select 25% of the video, and then we're going to select the videos to include in this audience. So we're gonna include this one, and this one, and this one for right now, and then we're going to click confirm. Now the cool thing is, is you can always go back in and add more videos to this audience as you create more videos. They can be live streams or ones that you've uploaded manually to Facebook. And you can specify the specific amount of days you want this audience to be targeted for if you wanted the last 30 days of watching these videos, you could. And then you want to give it a name. So 30 days, 25% view of videos. And then click create audience. And that is it. That's how you set an audience up based off of your video views. And again, it gives you the option if you want to create an ad using this audience, or if you want to create a lookalike using this same audience. We're gonna click done for right now, and then we're gonna come back to create audience, moving right along, getting you setting these audiences up, and then you're gonna click custom audience. Going back to the engagement section, and this time selecting Facebook page engagement. Again, we already have the page selected here. So from there, you get to select how that engagement has happened. So you can say everyone who has engaged with the page, anyone who has visited the page, people who have engaged with any post or ad, people who clicked on the call to action button, people who sent a message, and people who saved your page or any post. This gives you a lot of flexibility in how you are creating these audiences. I hope you can see how easy it is to leverage the engagement you are getting on Facebook, even if they haven't liked your page. You can show them a freebie or another video or anything that you want to from this point moving forward once you have these audiences saved. We're gonna go ahead and select everyone that has engaged with your page, but we are going to use the last 30 days to keep it relevant. We're going to give it a name of 30 day engagement with Facebook page and then click create audience. And again, it's giving us, do you wanna create a lookalike audience or do you wanna create an ad using this audience? You can use these features each time you set up your audiences. I'm just showing you how to get started using them. Once these audiences are done populating and have a green light next to them and say ready, you will be able to start using them in your Facebook advertising. Don't be afraid to start setting up these audiences today because they can help you begin to leverage the work that you've already done to create the empire that you are ready to build. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Just the Tip. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might also benefit from setting up these Facebook audiences for their business as well. I'll see you in the next episode.